This is a story of a young woman who found herself caught up in the politics of the time where she expressed her discontentment with the current political situation in Berlin, Germany, where she resided. She was imprisoned along with her fiancé Otto Golnow for posting small flyers posters against the Soviet propaganda exhibition at that time called the Soviet Paradise. This action cost her the life of her newborn, the lives of several fellow students who were participating in an anti-Nazi resistant group called the Rota Capella or Red Arpra. This action cost her the life of her newborn child, the lives of several fellow students who were participating in an anti-Nazi resistance group called Rota Capella or Red Arpra. This action also cost her her own life. Lena Berkowitz was born on August 7, 1923 in Berlin. The family fled the Soviet Union in 1923 to come to Berlin. Soon after, her father passed away. Her mother remarried a Henry Berkowitz, who instantly adopted Lena. Berkowitz made sure that Lena was able to prepare for her abitur at the Privat Gymnasium Hellisches Abend Schule from 1941 onward. She had joined a circle of friends from her classmate Eva Rittmeister and her husband John Rittmeister. Otto Golnow, Fritz Thiel, and Friedrich Reimer were members of the Red Orchestra. Under the guidance of John Rittmeister, the circle of friends developed into a circle of Hitlerite opponents who later worked together with Harold Schutz Boysen. Under the guidance of John Rittmeister, the circle of friends developed into a circle of Hitlerite opponents who later worked together with Harold Schutz Boysen of the resistance group Rota Capella against the Nazi regime. Lena became engaged to a Friedrich Reimer and was pregnant when she was arrested. The Red Capella in Berlin consisted of Berliners who were apparently a loose network of civilian dissidents who got pulled into spying as part of their activities against the Third Reich. Now check this out. Harold Schutz Boysen, who worked for the Nazis as a communications lieutenant was stealing papers and haphazardly sending them to the Russians. They also posted many anti-Nazi posters under the cover of darkness and more calculated stuff like collecting war crimes evidence in the hopes of indicting the perpetrators after the war. And another gentleman, intellectual, called Arvid Harnock were one of the three Soviet intelligence nodes of all who were confusingly designated Rota Capella. The designation was assigned by Nazi intelligence rather than by the organization itself. When the war was over, they were rejected by the Westerners because of the color red. On the evening of May 17, 1942, about 100 sticky notes between Kufirst and Dam and Ulaanstrasse were posted. At least three others among the condemned paid with their lives for an art activism attack on the Soviet parade exhibition, which happened May, June, 1942, that used photographs and captured artifacts from the war's Eastern Front to depict poverty, squalor, and misery in the USSR. There is a propaganda film that exists that was created at the time by the Nazis. The Red Orchestra orchestrated an attack littering the exhibition with counter-propaganda flyers. This was in response to Goebbels' staged 1942 propaganda exhibition called The Soviet Paradise, which was later firebombed by a group called Baum Group. Lena Berkowitz was executed on 5th of August, 1943 in Berlin Plötzen Z from 7 to 8 p.m. On this evening of August 5th, 1943, the guillotine fell at the Plötzen Z, murdering 17 members of the Red Orchestra Resistance Circle. On the 12th of April, 1943, Lena Berkowitz gave birth to her daughter, Irene Berkowitz, in the Braumannstrasse Woman's Prison 
She was taken care of by Lena Berkowitz's grandmother until July 1943 and was probably murdered October 1943 in Eberswald. Final notes. Other rounds of execution had taken place over the preceding months. The German Marshal Court recommended mercy for some of these women who were moved to Plötzensee for execution that very morning. Mr. Mann, who I do not want to say his name, refused it across the board. The Gestapo had a much wider network to break up. Ultimately, there would be 50 deaths associated with the Red Orchestra for activities ranging from outrage espionage to simply hanging flyers. Another interesting factor about this was that in America, there was a thing called McCarthyism. In retrospect, according to Gerald Rittlinger, the capture of known lefties misbehaving became the occupation of McCarthyan-like mentality with the intent of settling internal political scores among the Nazis. German intelligence chief William Canaris declared that the conspiracy cost the lives of over 200,000 German soldiers. <laughs>